Hi, this is Fred. We're going to give you an overview of what's coming in BigBlueButton 2.0. We've worked on three areas, an updated user interface, much more consistent with some functionality that we'll go through here in the video, shared notes for collaboration, and a multi-user whiteboard. So let's start off the new version. You can see right away it's a lot cleaner. All the icons are rendered at a high resolution, and the overall interface is more consistent. So here we're joining the audio. If you remember the previous version, it was a headset icon. Now it's a phone icon. But all the same functionality is there. You, you can are now use, unmuted. unmute yourself. The title for the meeting is now in the upper left-hand corner. All the controls for the user sharing media is in the center. And some of the media controls never right, like start, stop recording. Chat works the same as before. Um, layout, same as before. The ability of the moderator to push the layout to others, same as before. The upload dialog box now has a new option so that the instructor can enable students to download the presentation if you want. So if you check this box and click upload, everything works as before again. Presentation uploads, you can advance it, but the students will have the ability to download it. So we'll show that here. Um, we'll just advance the presentation. And because we started the session up with green light, it's a front end to big blue button. I've got a, a link I can copy to invite another student in, and I can click join. So here a user is going to come in uh, called student, and what you'll see is when their client starts up, they'll see the presentation, the current slide, but there'll be a button to download it. And they can click the download button, and it will download that presentation to their browser. So that's the ability for an instructor to give students the ability to download a presentation. Other capabilities, the pen tool uh, now has some smoothing built in. So here we are drawing a circle and a square. And if you'll notice, there's just some slight smoothing going on. Just makes the lines a little cleaner. In the chat area, users could always right click and copy to the clipboard. Now we've got some buttons to save the chat and copy it as well. So here, if I click to save the chat, it'll download as a text file. And I'm just gonna open up an editor and we're going to open that file up that we just downloaded. And there you can see the three messages, the one I just typed in high a few moments ago. Another capability we added was a full screen mode. So I won't show it here, but if you click this, the big blue button will become full screen and your browser toolbar will disappear. Another capability is when a moderator logs out, they have the option to end the meeting. And what that means is we'll kick all the other students out. And if we look at the other browser, you can see that this user has been logged out as well. Okay, so let's go back into Big Blue Button. Again, we're using green light here, but with your LMS or learning management system, it would be going in through your LMS. So we're going to join as the moderator and a viewer. And now we're going to show shared notes. So this is a collaborative area where all users can write in the same area. So you get to it by doing the shared notes layout. And when you do that, a window appears on the left-hand side and users can type into it. Again, multiple users can type into it multiple or simultaneously. It's a shared notes area. So here uh, I'm typing into it and let's switch over to the other browser. We won't bother joining the audio and I'll just zoom in, take it to shared notes. And now uh, the student will start typing in. And you can see the instructor and everybody else in the session would see what everyone types in. There's a couple of capabilities in shared notes. A moderator can create an additional, up to two additional shared notes areas. And there's the ability to do formatting as well. Straightforward formatting, you can change the font, you can change the point size. Here we're gonna change it to New Times Roman. Just like the chat, there's now the ability to download. Uh, with shared notes, we actually give you two capabilities, download it as HTML or plain text. Here, if I download a plain text, I'll do just like we did before a few moments ago. I'll open it up in Notepad, and you can see what it looks like. So there's shared notes, and there it is, the same text that's in the shared notes. The shared notes are not saved as part of the recordings, so you want to download them if you want to retain them afterwards. The last functionality is multi-user whiteboard, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Multiple people can write on the whiteboard at the same time if turned on by the presenter. So here, I'll make a mark on the whiteboard, I'm going to switch over to the student view and I'll just move the client a little bit to the left so you can see them both at the same time. Notice that there's a name next to the pointer so you can see who's writing on the whiteboard 
and all the controls are available. So here I'm going to do uh, shared note or uh, the text field, and you can see that all people can see it. So it's good for those tutoring applications or collaborative applications where you want to get students involved kinetically. So that's an overview of what's new in BigBlueButton 2.0. And that's an update of BigBlueButton 2.0. A lot more consistency in the user interface, more collaboration for students with shared notes and multi-user whiteboard. For more information on the project, check out our website at BigBlueButton.org.